Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. It's time for that usual time. That usual time, that beautiful time. It's Universal Yum's time. So, I feel bad. Because I'm doing this, my roommates have wanted to be on my channel for a minute. And, uh, one of my roommates in particular knows a bit about the country of origin that these snacks are from. And uh, the more I thought about it, the more I thought I'm going to go ahead and do this one, and I'm going to get her involved when we're doing snacks for a country that she knows nothing about, because it's all about that surprise. And here's a country I know nothing about. Japan. That's right. It's time for these Japanese snacks. Let's open them the shit up. All right, what do we got? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is this right? Don't fall over, you bastard. Okay. This is the Mame mix. Mame means beans in Japanese. We're guessing most people wouldn't be too excited to eat a snack that translates to bean mix, but then again, you've never tried this bean mix before. Shh. It's more than just beans. Inside, you'll get to try dried seaweed peas, broad beans, and the world-famous Japanese peanuts. Each peanut is coated in a light dusting of wheat flour and a dab of soy sauce, and then flash-fried. These addictive peanuts have an interesting backstory. They were actually invented in Mexico. Surprise! You get to try two countries this month. In 1932, a Japanese man named Yoshige uh, Nakatani immigrated to Mexico for better work. He married a Mexican woman, had a son named Carlos, and in 1952, invented the Japanese peanut, or Chacajotes Japonones. Maximum effort. Decades later, Chacacones Hapanones are sold everywhere in Mexico, typically, typically with a sprinkle of salt and lime juice. Japanese peanuts aren't just popular in Mexico, though. They're famous throughout South America and have even circled the globe to come back to Japan, where they're typically served as a snack with beer. These peanuts might be the best representation we've had of a truly universal yum. So this is a Latino Japanese tasty treat. It's a snack mix. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell. Oh no! All kinds of shit in there. And they keep falling under my desk! Let's do it anyway. Oh my god. Mm. That's tasty as fuck, but it's also immensely dry. Jesus. I did a um, video not long ago that had the uh, fish peanut balls.
And that's a little bit what this tastes like. God damn, it's good though. Very tasty. Very tasty. All right. Our next snack. Bourbon Petite Caramel Rice Crackers. Rice cakes first came to Japan from China during the Yayoi period about 2,300 years ago. They're a staple in Japanese cuisine, and over time, they've evolved into a sweet treat. Often served during traditional tea ceremonies, Japanese cult cuisine strives to create harmony among flavors, so a sweet rice cake strikes the perfect balance with bitter tea. Here in the U.S., we might not tr view rice cake. Uh, let's try that one more time. Here in the U.S., we might not view rice cakes as a great dessert option, but most of us have never tried these rice cakes. They're drenched in a sugary caramel, making them undeniably sweet and impossibly addictive. Got a whole row of them here. These are rice cakes. Oh shit, that's really good. Yeah. I am going to... Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. And devour this entire sleeve in a place that you can't see me do it. Oh my god, that's delicious. Okay. Fuck, that's good. Alright, what do we got? Jesus. Alright. Umaibo! Teriyaki burger flavor! And Gutan flavor! The brand name Umaibo comes from Yumer. Uh, umami, a word in the Japanese language that describes one of the five basic tastes. Salty, sweet, sour, and bitter are easy enough to understand, but umami is a bit different. In its purest form, umami means savory, but the concept is not as simple as comparing it to the seasoning you can apply to a dish like salt. Instead, it's more akin to what makes our mouths water when we smell steaks cooking on the grill. Actually, the perfect way to describe umami isn't with words, it's with this crunchy and delicious snack. You get to try two flavors, teriyaki burger and guaitan, which translates to beef tongue. Go ahead, take a bite and salivate over these umizing snacks. All right, this is the teriyaki version. Oh god, it's one big thing. That's vulgar. That's what that is. Mm. Oh my god. That's delicious. That is like a wafer, like a candy wafer, without the sweets, but it's been coated in beef broth. It's fucking delicious. Oh my god. Now. Oh my god. I've still got a teriyaki one. That's what I just ate, the teriyaki one. I'm assuming then... They sent me an extra teriyaki one. And this is the uh, Guaitan. You really can't tell. They don't do a bang up job of translating this shit. This is Guaitan. Yeah, same kind of deal. Oh my god, that's 
So good. It's like... Oh my god, it's so good. It's like the East Asian version of a sour cream and onion chip. Oh my god! This is turning into one of my favorite ones, and I didn't even mean it to. Holy shit. Right, what have we got here? Alright. This is the Every Burger Cookie. Everyone wants a burger, and Every Burger is here to give it to you. These burgers just happen to be teeny cookies. The attention to detail on these cute chocolate burgers is precisely what makes so many Japanese snacks so much fun. The buns are made from sweet crackers topped with real sesame seeds. Inside you'll find a realistic looking chocolate burger patty and a slice of cheese. Not so far. Oh god, not so far. Not to fear! You're not going to be mixing craft singles with chocolate here. The slices of cheese are actually white chocolate that's been dyed orange. This is probably one of the only times we can write the phrase, go ahead, eat 15 burgers without giving you a heart attack. Oh my god. Off to the side, you. Wacky bag. Oh, oh my god. Alright, so that's the bag inside. Let's just tear this shit open. God damn it! There we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's a tiny burger. And it's delicious. <laughs> Basically, it's a cookie. It's really what it comes down to. With a little bit of crunchiness and some chocolate. This one tried to run away from me. Japan! You're killing me! This is so good. Alright. We're getting into the little individual candies and chocolates and stuff. Oh my god. Open up! I'm desperate to eat this Japanese candy! There we go. Alright. So this is... Katsujiai Kiwi Gummies. If you were with us for our first Japan box in July 2015, was not there, you'll recognize these as they're the only snack we repeated this time they're just so dang good. We had to bring them back. Kasujai gummies are one of the top brands in the world, and they beat out every gummy candy we've tried in our travels. We've visited over 25 countries together. Holy shit, guys. So that's saying something. What makes Kasujai gummies so special? They have perfect chewy texture, but more than that, they always get the fruit flavor perfectly right. The gummy, uh, the gummy, the kiwi flavor is our absolute favorite. They even have real kiwi seeds inside of them. Oh shit, I see them. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Delicious.
After all the umami and chocolate and everything like that. A nice, refreshing gummy is exactly what I was hoping for. All right. All right, that's a hard candy. Let's see what else I got here. Oh my gosh, we're down to the last, last couple. Fuck, okay. I'm so disappointed. These are always so much fun. All right. Which one is this? Raka Ame candy. Get ready to be very, very confused. Once this candy hits your tongue, you'll immediately want to bite down, like you might with a traditional peanut brittle. But don't do it. You want this sweet peanut candy to last as long as possible. After you get through the smooth peanut butter shell, there's a delightful crunch of salty roasted peanuts. If you're a fan of sweet and salty together, you're going to go nuts over this. That is um, definitely my bailiwick. Mm. I'm sorry I bit it so soon, but god damn. That's delicious. Okay, do you remember when you were a kid and you were trick-or-treating and there was always those people on your block who threw the kind of generic peanut chewy candies into your bag. And that's what that tastes like in a delightful way, like in a good way. Mm. Cause I was never mad at those people for putting those in there. Okay, we got a couple more, couple more. Let's all be cool. Okay. Sakuma Matcha Milk Candy. Good old green tea is no matcha for matcha. Matcha is a rich, finely ground tea powder made from the highest quality green tea leaves available. Want to look young forever? Matcha is rich in antioxidants, which help make skin look more youthful. Going in for the first kiss, matcha has been proven to help curb bad breath looking for a caffeine fix you'll get more for your money with matcha one cup has the same amount of caffeine as 10 cups of green tea jesus luckily for us you can get all the benefits of matcha with these candies prepare for a younger more kissable and energetic you Yes, we highly doubt that you'll see any substantial change with these candies, except maybe an improvement in your mood. Fuck you. I believe in these candies. Wow. A very long time ago, I was dating a gal, and her favorite perfume was a green tea perfume. And I didn't drink green tea at the time, so I didn't put two and two together. Oh my god. So now anytime I eat a candy like this, it's like I'm eating perfume. Because that's the only context I have to compare this to. Delicious. But also problematic. Okay, one last one. I see you. Ribbon Nama Uma Candy. Last month we told you that you were going to have to be brave for this box. This is what we were talking about. Inside the crystal clear candy is a small bit of Uma Boshe or pickled plums. 
Doesn't sound that bad, right? However, in Japan, these plums are pickled by preserving them with salt. Lots and lots of salt. You have about five minutes from the time you put this in your mouth until you reach the pickled plum salt bomb center. And we're warning you, it's intense. We urge you to try it though, because these plums are a central part of Japanese cuisine. They became a worldwide phenomenon in the 60s when they famously corroded the solid aluminum in children's lunchboxes. <laughs> so if you do have to spit the inside of this candy out, just be careful where you aim it. All right, five minutes, right? Okay. Glad we, st we glad we ended with this one. That's what this is about. Okay. Plum, 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 plum. What do you think? Should I bite down? Let's bite down. Fuck it. Oh! Oh! God damn it! I feel like I'm chewing on the ocean. Oh! Enjoy, but ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> Thank you, Jen. You're my only friend. Oh, my God, that was just about as salty as you can get outside of live streamers message board well that was a unique one god damn that was japan from universal yums absolutely delicious for the most part if it wasn't delicious it was challenging and i think that counts for something in the meantime in between time my name is phil the con keys to dork i'll see you guys tomorrow bye Hey, Daddy, don't sink a little drinky. Daddy gets out and blue. Sneak a little drinky, sneakity do. Sneak a little drinky past you. Sneak a little drinky, sneakity do. Sneak a little drinky past you.